our next guest is the host of one of the greatest shows on television. It's just won its seventh, thing, uh, seventh Emmy for Outstanding Reality Show, but I think it's one of the greatest game shows ever created. It's in its 15th season. This Sunday it starts. Here's a clip of it. So exciting, the amazing the first race. first team to cross the finish line after 12 legs will win one million dollars. <laughs> appreciative people are of wow. great television. they even stood up. I know. You got cramps in their legs or something. No, no. You know why? Because the, uh, the Amazing Race is this, you know, it's like a giant scavenger hunt across the world. Yeah. And these people have to use their minds, their talent, their strength, their ability, their emotional wherewithal to, to get to the end. And Do you think I would ever get you to go on the, on the show? Yes. Like, I would love that be great. I would love to do it. You know, we could, we could, we have actually had people come and just do one leg, you know, for like a behind the scenes kind of story. Don't you Don? think? Don? I will do it. You'll yeah. go with me? Just sure. like, just like one leg. Absolutely. Yeah. That'd be so much fun. And I, I'd, I'd eliminate you or do something, you know. <laughs> That'd be yeah, really you're not cool. the first guy to tell me that. Um, <laughs> It's nice to be back. Thanks for having me back. We, you're, you're one of our favorite guests, Phil. Our I said a few you. things last time, and I was a bit worried because you know it's you daytime want? and you don't do you, worry. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember. Yeah, I, mean, I we, still have dreams about it. Uh, we, <laughs> we go to crazy places. You're talking about yourself in the bathtub. Remember, we yes. were talking about things that just kept going on and on. That's and because on and on. in my fantasy world, we've dated. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I said last time, I think that if we did date, that we would have had a lot of fun. Yes, we would have. Yes. Would have been fun. <laughs> My goodness, all right. <laughs> uh, tell us about the Amazing Race this year. You got some great people on it, don't you? Oh, like, uh, yeah. Some compelling, always uh, they have like brothers or sisters or a son and a Well, I don't know dad. if you saw at the Emmys the other night, we had uh, a couple of the racers were there. Mm -hmm. You know that little yeah. gag where they had the two Harlem Globe trotters sitting in the in the In best front of the, yeah. Well, they're on the show. Flight time and Big Easy. And these guys, they're, they're just, uh, they're so, I mean, they're performers. They're just really, really fun. And they, they're going all over the world. And can you imagine what it's like in some countries where the average height's like 5'5", five, five, and these guys come screaming in. <laughs> and, and, and they're just, they're just over-the-top funny guys, you know, just really lovely. And, well, that's uh, a great element of the show when you see, you know, the different cultures and yeah. how people react to each other. I mean, I've learned so much just geography from the show and yeah. culture-wise. It's just amazing. Well, we, we really pride ourselves in having real difference on the show. So we have. Uh, Zeb and Justin, for instance, Zeb, he has uh, Asperger's, and uh, I, it, it's great to just have him on the show to kind of learn about something different, really, you know, the, the yeah. disease that people uh, are living uh, with. And speaking of different illnesses and everything that people deal with on a daily basis, you just finished Right Across America. Yes. Tell us about it, Phil, because you raised over $500,000 for well, multiple sclerosis. MS Society are a fantastic organization. Well, the MS Society loves you because well, you've really been a champion for them. Well, the other day I just saw in People magazine they had like a, a, an ad because because people will give them give certain um, organizations uh, you know some some press uh, and uh, they gave the MS Society an ad and there I was holding the bicycle and of course that's huge for the MS Society. But I want to thank you because um, I don't know if you guys saw but as I was going across I was doing blogs and and uh, you know trying to pump as much media and as <laughs> attention as I could and Bonnie checked in with me four times I think it was as we mm -hmm. went across mm -hmm. and her mom came out and I even br I brought this because I uh -oh. wanted to show you this this was from your mom and I, I kept it I have it in my garage actually I oh. keep it there because like she puts she qualifies it it says Bonnie's mom in parenthetical under her name on her stationery. just so I wouldn't forget but oh. I, I have it up in my my garage I spent a lot of time in my garage doing like handyman oh. things and uh, I have it up there because I just really enjoyed meeting her because as soon as I met her I was like oh that's why Bonnie is the way Bonnie is. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, wow. She's so cool. 
Yeah, she's. Was it cool growing up with her? I mean, did you? Well, guys... she's a character. Mom's yeah. always been a character, and yeah. I know for multiple sclerosis in our family, it's something that it touches a lot of us here too yeah. deeply. Yeah, well, she on the came show. out and she she spent time with me, and we we hung out. It was awesome, really, really awesome. I loved it. Well, you 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 keep so busy, Phil, and I think everybody in my family has been inspired by you. I mean, originally your writings in your book, and now you have so many stories. You guys, Phil has so many amazing stories and so many things he's done with his. And life. I make up a lot of them too. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, as long as they're good. Yeah. But now they're animated. Some of them. I just said crazy. Or I love it. Could I show? Go. Would you want to talk about it first? No, no, no. You you can show the clip. All right. There's so no here's problem. just Phil. Phil just tells these guys a story, and then they animate it. Now, is this one where you where you guys were originally doing a documentary? This is years ago in Phil's career in a nudist colony. Yeah, I, okay. I did a show. It was called Phil Cogan's Adventure Crazy. Right. And basically, it was based on my list of things to do before I died. And we went out and we shot shows based on things I wanted to do. Swim across, uh, you know, from Asia to Europe, across the Bosphorus, have a dinner on a volcano. And one of them was actually go to a nudist resort, Discovery Channel said to me, what's that got to do with adventure? I said, are you kidding me? When was the last time, you know, you worked in front of a camera with no clothes on? So anyway, somebody was asking me about my stories and they said they wanted to animate them. I had no idea what they were talking about because I'd never seen it before. So I told a bunch of stories and one of them was, you know, when I went to the nudist yeah, resort. Yeah, let's just show a clip of it and then you can tell us how it's resolved here. We went to this place in, in Desert Springs, which is a good place to get nude because it's nice and warm. So I spent all this time with the couple, and the idea was that I was going to stay clothed until the very end, and then when we go to the wedding, I would uh, take off everything, and so would the crew. The, uh, the priest was there, beautiful flowers everywhere, and a totally naked congregation. <laughs> this, uh, this couple... <laughs> This couple wanted to get married as natural can, you know, as, as natural as natural can be, and so they wanted to get married in nude. And I said I would go with them. Well, while we were there, there was an artist who said that he would mold a certain part of our body. Oh yeah, wanted. yeah, that's in there. Yeah, the artist. Yeah. So I, uh, I they said, uh, hey, do you want to have a part of your body molded? And I said, what part? And they said, uh, your gluteus maximus, and uh, th which is the the butt. And I said, sure. Because uh, when you write a book called No Opportunity Wasted, you can never say no to anything. Well, Phil had a life-changing experience where you almost died, and right. you decided to do all these things that you wanted to do with your life. After but that. well, molding my butt was not one of them. No, but, I didn't think that. Was uh, <laughs> but uh, but I suddenly I find myself lying on some massage tables with the with the couple, and then a man comes at me with a spatula and some saran wrap and baby oil. I'll leave it to your imagination as to how that works. But but wait a minute, no, because they had to they had to put. The cellophane, it said, over you before they put the well, molding, they put it. The they plaster. put it where the sun don't shine. Because, oh dear! Yeah, because when they put the plaster on, they don't want it to stick anywhere it shouldn't be sticking. No, that. Was... So my ass arrived in the mail like six <laughs> weeks later. Uh, seriously. What? What did you do with it? Well, he what takes. You can't hang it on the wall. Well, it, rise, it arrives at the door, and, and it's a big box. And my, my wife says, hey, Phil, your ass is here. <laughs> and, uh, and seriously, it was my ass. So then... Stop! I, I, so, so my wife has a great sense of humor. So she says, hey, you know what we should do is we should turn it into a salad bowl. <laughs> and so we had some friends come over because it looked kind of cool upside down, you know? So we piled up the salad with the tomatoes and everything. And then we had some friends over, and one of them was, you know, one couple was very conservative. Hopefully there's not too many conservative people here. But one was very conservative, and then we had to, you know, tell them. That was my ass. It's a salad bowl. And we only pull it out on special occasions. <laughs> you come to my house, I'll... Stop me. Daytime, daytime. <laughs> All right. This will have to go the late night. No. Are you speechless? Well, Do I need I to just, take over here for I a just, second? Sorry, yeah, Bonnie will be right back after uh, these no, important messages. No, but I can just see. If I were having dinner at your house, I said, yeah. where's the, where'd you get that bowl from? And you told me, did everybody just spit out their food? <laughs> there were flying tomatoes and salad everywhere. <laughs> I could just imagine. Uh, you can see Phil on the season premiere of Amazing Race this Sunday on CBS. Thank you again. Phil. Yes. Thank you.